Oh, my server, I will never try again. What a family, a side hall right here. I'm in the graveyard today. I came to visit a brother, the friend of mine, which passed one of our beloved brother, which passed some few years ago, 2021. And for those of you who have been following this channel, will understand what I'm saying and will actually know exactly what I'm saying. So I am in the graveyard. I had a dream about him and I decided to come and visit him. You know, life is so. Life is one of, of, of a thing that I can't really say, but life is one of the things that is so funny. Sometimes you see life when I come here, it makes me to refresh back in life and it makes me to think about so many things, you know, to worry about nothing. Because after all that we are knocking our heads, we are struggling, we are trying to hustle just to achieve things of this world at the end this is where we all gonna be this is where we all gonna be right in a place like this you see dead is that one thing in life that we all can never run away from it it doesn't matter whether you are poor or whether you're rich it doesn't matter your achievement it doesn't matter whether you have a hundred a hundred million subscribers or it doesn't matter whether you have just five subscribers you see and it doesn't matter also whether you are driving in luxurious cars or whether you have a, just a bicycle or you push a wheelbarrow so it's quite sad i'm making this video but my heart bleeds because it takes me back to all those good times all those good days memories of my friend and it really do makes me sad you know but as a man i can't cry no more because i've already cried out all my tears the day that it happens because a brother that i never had one that brother that i never had shout out to kitoko x exodus gabon you all go go subscribe to the channel exodus gabon i don't really actually know what to say but before i talk further i need to give myself a 10 second silent as a respect for him life after all what you have been hustling for killing people about it this is where someday you're gonna end right here this is where someday you're gonna end right here right here which is life you know life have taught us a lesson a very good lesson not just us expand me in particular me that i'm saying in particular life have taught me a lesson each time when I come here, it makes me refresh back of life because I had a dream about the person that I'm, I'm coming to visit here in this graveyard. I had a dream about him. So I decided to come and do a... I decided to come and pay him a visit and also see how I can clean up the surrounding of his grave. So this is the, the place. But in life, we all have to understand that one thing that it doesn't matter whether you are old whether you are young whether you are a kid someday we all gonna have a call on this some of you might not really understand it now just wait until the day that that man in that in that call come knocking at your door only then you will understand the true meaning of life 
you see when i see when i when i each, each time when i come here i see this grave these are people with ambitions all this grave you see here all these people here all this grave you see here that you can find here these are people with ambitions they are people that had ambition some of them have already achieved many things some of them have already achieved things that we can ever imagine but at the end they all have to go the same way right here where i am we have the rich we have the poor we have the super 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 rich they are all here they are lying in the same place in the same spot the only difference that you can see you can see the one they have the houses built covered with, with it but it doesn't really matter whether your own grave is being covered with a roof or your own grave is it looks like this or your own grave looks like that the one with the ties it doesn't matter it doesn't matter at the end it's the same ground it's the same six feet that each and every one of us is going into at the end each and every one of us also we also decay so it doesn't really matter it's life the next second the next minute it can be me i'm doing this video me i myself knowing fully where that someday i'm going to be like this someday i'm going to be like this also so this is the only thing that we as human it doesn't matter whether you are a president it doesn't matter whether you are a puppet it doesn't matter who you are this is a this is that one call that each and every one of us will answer to like the bible said after death is judgment is judgment we are all just passing we are all strangers in this world and we are passing so life is something that when somebody owes you or when somebody did do you wrong or did you wrong don't take it personal don't take it personal because at the end we all gonna end up here in a place like this at the end we all gonna end up in a place like this that is just life we can't run away from it keep on asking yourself that one question that is this how life is gonna be let me come where there's light is this how I'm gonna be is this how things are gonna be so I keep on asking myself this question that after all the struggle after all the struggle of this world achieving the things of this world at the end we all gonna let it we all gonna leave it and this will be our final destination right here this is our final destination so i don't know how i can call it my dear family does life really worth it ask yourself that question that's one thing that one thing that you are holding grudge of your brother for that one thing because of that thing you don't want to let it go have you bothered to ask yourself that question does does it worry it what is what is making you so hard to forgive that friend that sister that brother of yours or that cousin or whosoever that have offended you and what is also pushing you saying that you have to take revenge to let the pe the person know who you are actually say that one question who are you are you a superman even superman even a super even superman also answer to this same call so life is is not worth holding grudge on one another life isn't worth about trying to prove to someone that you are better than that person when you are blessed by god don't laugh at others only when or if you are blessed by your creator don't make mockery of others because at the end we all gonna end up here someday nowadays it doesn't you don't have to grow old before you come in here 
before you can end up here where I am. You don't have to grow old. Kids, newborn babies. Some of them don't even see this world before they come out from their mother's womb. They are all gone. Automatically gone. Some grow old. Some die in their young age. Some die during their youth days. Their youth age. Some die in school. Death is something that we, we don't wait. We can't, you can't wish it. We can't wish death to anyone. But it is something that we all going to answer to. It is something that we can never run away from. It doesn't matter what the pastor tells you. It doesn't matter how many times you go to church. It doesn't matter how many times you pray. But one thing for sure is that we all going to follow this road. This is a this is a this is a road for all of us. It is a road for for everyone. Even I myself that I'm talking to. I am not excluded from it. Just take a look at. Take a look at. Look at this place. Look at, look at. Let me show you guys around. Take a look at this place. These are just ones that have these are just one people that have gone that they know people are they are putting people here every day every day it's just that today today you guys cannot see people here because it's not the day of barrier because they have days of barrier which is normally friday and saturday so what i'm doing this video in one of the days that is not a day of barrier if not you would have seen this place being full of population seeing people that are coming that are coming to bury them here youth most most especially youth people are dying people are dying what is this life all about what are we fighting for what are you holding grudge for why why are you holding grudge for why all those things does it worth it have you ever asked yourself does, did it even worth it someday we all gonna end up like we all gonna end up here we all gonna end up here. Life doesn't want you trying to prove to someone that you are better than that person or that person is better than you. It doesn't want it. Have you, brought, have you ever asked yourself, does it really want it? Why? Why can't we not love one another? Why can't we not provide for one for for each other? Why? Why? That millions that you're keeping, that billions that you're keeping, when you want to leave, the day that you'll be leaving, the day that you'll be answering this call, this particular call that is a call for everyone, you are not going to take a dime along with you. You can't take a dime along with you. So why hate on one another? Why the hate? Why the they keep on saying like you are a stranger why they keep on saying why people keep telling his fellow brothers especially us africans why do we keep on telling our fellow africans that this person is a stranger why we we all are all strangers why when we know that someday we all gonna go we all gonna come here and this is it This is one of the most quiet places in the world. The graveyard. It's one of the most quiet places in the world. The graveyard. You know, sometimes I always love coming here because when I, each time when I come here, it makes me all my my grudges. I know people will always make you to 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 be angry. People will always make you. People will always try to provoke you. People will always try to get to your nerves. But ask yourself this question does this really worth it have you bothered to ask yourself this, this question like this thing i'm doing is this the right thing for me do you want to be down here do you want to come when they play you down here when there'll be no way for you before you start thinking about oh had i known i would have told this thing i would have told this thing i would have told this thing why did i keep this secret why did i keep that why did i keep this or why did i do this why did i do that have you ever bothered to ask yourself that question It is a call. I'm not saying this because I'm wishing, I'm wishing 
those of you that are watching my video i'm wishing you guys dead but it is a call that none of us is going to will be able to run away from it we are all here and just waiting for our our own time to come and we all someday is going to be we're going to be here even though we are not going to be here at the same time but someday I know last night some people died even right now that i'm doing this video there's some people in the hospital that are dying there are some people that just rushed to the hospital there are some that are still in their sick bed struggling with their life just waiting for the day some are even in the type of they are even in one sickness that they are praying and asking god to take their life that is better for them to take for them to for their for, for god to take their life does it really worth it? Does it really worth it having crush on someone? Does it really worth it of killing that for a friend? Does it really worth it? Does it? Does it really want to worth it of planning evil on someone? Ask yourself that question. Look, take a very good look at this place. Take a very good look at this place. Just, just look at, just look at. It continues right in there. Just take a very good look at this place. Take a very good look at this place. I never wanted to do this, to do this video, but I'm doing this video with a very, with a very, very heavy heart. But I have to do this video because there are some people that thinks that they are better than others. We all are all the same. We are all the same. It doesn't matter whether you are poor or whether you are rich, whether you have a degree. It doesn't matter or whether you don't have a degree. We all come to this world with a purpose. And we are just here at trying to achieve our purposes. Trying to, to achieve that purpose and then answer to this call. This one call. We all answer to a call. Of passing through a woman's womb before coming to this world is the same thing that we all going to answer to this same call which is going six feet down look at how quiet the place is the only noise that you can you can get here they are the noise of birds they are the noise of birds ask yourself this that this question do you want to do you want to be here six feet below and regretting about your life why did you do this why did you do that why did you is that what you really want in your life let's live our life accordingly according to god's will according to the creator's will let's stop all these things and do something magnificent ask yourself this question how many lives have you changed how many lives have you touched how many people can boast about you change life go out there do something for someone when you have something, things that you don't need, give, give it out. Don't make do some donation. Go and do some community service. Offer a voluntary service. Go meet people that need help and offer them that help. Please, please do that. Please. Life doesn't work hating on one another. Life doesn't want it hating, hating on one another. Why are you throwing that food when there are people that are sleeping with hunger? Why are you throwing that shoe which you think that like it's old, you don't you don't need it anymore when there are people moving barefooted on the street? Why are you throwing that cloth when you know there are some people that are just putting on racks as, as clothes? Why? Why? What gain have you doing all these things? What gain have you? Have you bothered to ask yourself that question? What gain have you? Think, my family, think. Let's think. Let's think and build a community of love and forgiveness. Let's reflect back to our life in one way or the other. We all we all have received help from one another, from, from someone else in this world. But ask yourself this very question like, how many people need my help? You don't need to have too much before you start giving. You have something that someone don't have and you don't need that thing. Go out there, give it, 
if you if you can't find that person donate it to people some donate it to organization donate it to where you know it will be able to get to to the people that need it please let's be great i will be signing up here because the rain is coming please if you are new to this channel don't make sure make sure you subscribe click on the notification bell and i will see you on my next video peace